When drawing blood, it's important to know what order to draw the tubes in. This might seem silly, but because of various additives in a tube, we must not get them mixed up or there's a chance of contaminating a sample, getting the lab mad at you, doing extra tests on your patient, or having results that don't match what's actually going on with the patient. Now your exact tube colors might be slightly different at your facility, or if you're in a different country, but, but, but that's okay. I'm going to help you understand the order of additives as well. Remember, all tubes need to be inverted at least four or five times, if not more. So first we start with sterile. That's your blood cultures. Before you touch any other tube, the blood should go straight into the blood culture bottles. Next are our citrate additives. That's specifically the blue top that has sodium citrate in it. That keeps it from clotting. We do this one because any other additive contamination will completely ruin the results. Blue tops measure clotting times, PT, INR, PTT. Then you'll do the simple serum tubes. This could be red, red with gel, gold, or even a tiger top. Some facilities also have pink top tubes for type and screen that have no additives. These tubes are your, for your chem, chem panels, liver panels and renal panels. Red tops tend to be for drug levels, especially phenytoin. Next is your heparin additives. That's the light green or green tubes that have either heparin lithium or heparin sodium. Green tubes may also be chemistry panels, enzymes, etc. After that, you're going to move on to your EDTA tubes, your purple or lavender tops, like for your CBC or ammonia. They're always EDTA tubes. And your pink top may also be EDTA for type and screen. Your facility may also have a royal blue tube that is an EDTA tube. Finally, you've gotten to your fluoride oxalate tubes. These may be gray or yellow depending on your facility. They're for things like lactic acid, random drug levels, and blood alcohol content. So let's summarize how we're gonna do this. And you, let's stop for a second here. You might not realize or you may not have known that you must do this in, in, in a certain order, but I want you to start, if you haven't started, you, you may be just be doing your sterile appropriately, but if you haven't started doing this in the right order, I encourage you to start doing it in the right order so that your, your patient is getting the care they deserve and you're not, uh, you're getting appropriate levels so you can best care for your patient. So the correct order is sterile, citrate, serum, heparin, EDTA, fluoride oxalates, and that takes you to the end of your lab panel. And on some patients, you literally might be drawing one of each of these or a couple of each of them. And if you have patients who are on heparin or patients who are on phenytoin, or other types of uh, medications, you might be doing this a lot.